Okie dokie. Another one. Another Xbox Series X. Can anyone guess what's wrong with this? So, this is probably going to make a video. In fact, this is definitely going to make a video because the customer requested it. Can anyone guess what's wrong with this? I am live streaming on Twitch right now, if anyone's watching this back as a video. So, basically, the customer has requested that I make a video and also that I shame his nephew. So, if I slag the nephew off, please don't unsubscribe. So, my chat are saying... SSD issue, HDMI traces, water damage, beep then dead, no power, SSD, uh, bad encoder, red ring of death, some interesting thoughts there in chat, some interesting thoughts in chat, piss damage, ooh lovely, well I've got to wear gloves, alright, enough faffing around, if you are watching this back of the video, please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like, subscribe to me on Twitch, give me all your money, thank you. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, so this has been sent in by a customer, he dropped it off in person because he doesn't live far. And basically, the nephew vapes in his bedroom. Number one, vaping is bad for you. You'll get popcorn lungs, stop vaping, smoke normal cigarettes like a normal person. Here, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm even going to give you one. This is for you. For when you come and pick your console up, okay? So, there's a normal cigarette for you. For when you come and pick your console up. Actually, now nah, fuck that. I'm having that myself. Eat shit. Anyway, he vapes in his bedroom. His uncle is a sparky boy trade. The nephew asked him to fix his TV. So he fixed his TV and it was covered, caked, absolutely baked in vape oil. And this is pressing buttons on its own. So apparently it turns on and works, but it presses the eject button on its own. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's loosey loosey. That button's loose. But basically it's been sent in for the service. So he, he did show me a video and he was basically making that noise where it was trying to reject a disc. But he has already opened it up and tried to sort it himself but now he just wants it cleaning properly. So I have gave him two quotes. I said, if it's not too bad, if there's not too much vape oil or if there's no vape oil, then it'll be 50 quid. Because that's how much I charge for a normal service. But if it's caked in vape oil, then I'm going to charge him 75. Which I think is fair. If it's caked in vape oil, it's going to cost me quite a bit in isopropyl alcohol just to clean the vape oil off and time. So I basically gave him two quotes and he's happy with that. Stop smoking altogether. <laughs> ah, th there you go. That's actually doing that now. Murphy's a legend. He cheered another 100 bits. Thank you, dude. There you go. All right. So, yeah, that is pressing. It was actually worse than that on the video. Yeah, he's done it again. That is pressing the eject button on its own. So I think he's tried to factory reset it as well, which is fine. In fact, there's a better way to do this. There's a much better way to do it. Yeah, it's ejected on its own. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably an easier way to show it. Visual representation. Nice. Let's see, shall we? So I've put gloves on because I have a really weird... Well, I wouldn't even say it's a weird OCD. I think it's a perfectly reasonable OCD where I cannot stand oil on my hands. And it makes me literally want to pull my skin off when I get oil on my hands. It all depends as well on this because this could very well be a faulty front panel. So... It all depends. Let's remove this panel. Oh, yeah. It's going to be caked, in it? I can already see it. So, already I can see that there's some sort of residue on the disk drive itself. This is going to be caked in, uh, in vape oil. It's going to be caked. Yeah. Yep. Right, let me put this console to one side for a minute, like the, the main unit. I'll put that to one side for a minute. The main thing I'm going to be focusing on here is going to be 
Number one just fought him while I was on stream, but never mind. We'll pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> um, number two, I'm going to focus on the front panel board for now. I can see vape juice on there. In fact, it's caked in it all around here, look. And this is why I'm wearing gloves for this job. Oh, can it, oh, can it even feel it? Oh, oh can I even feel it? Right, I'll get to the rest of that in a minute. Let's pop under the microscope. Oh, wow. Yep. This is what's going to be causing it right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's nasty. I'm surprised he's not turning. I'm surprised the power button's not turning on and off. Yeah, this is what's going in your lungs, people. Come on. Stop putting this shit in your lungs. Oh, hang on a minute. Ooh. I haven't liquid damaged my console, sir. That's not good, guys. At all. This is what vaping is doing to your consoles. Like, this isn't just vape juice here. This is actually starting to damage components right here. Vaping is incredibly bad for your consoles. Uh, yeah, this is this is what's going to be causing the issue. Like this, all of this corrosion, burn damage, technically. I'll see how this looks once I've given it all a good scrub. I'm going to have to take the ribbon out. You're putting this into your lungs, people. I'm not going to preach. I smoke. I smoke cigarettes, but this is what vaping is doing to people. Like, you imagine it's doing this to your console? This is just the shit that you blow out of your lungs, okay? And I know smoking is just as bad, I get it. But come on. It's no wonder this causes popcorn lung. I'm going to be honest, this board ain't great. But I would recommend this board get replaced. The problem is with this board is there's plastic connectors and LEDs all over it. It's not going to be easy to replace components on this. Wait, is that meant to have components on it? Have they knocked off? They've all fell off. It's actually not components off. Wow. The board needs replacing. It's pointless. See, the problem is we don't know what components they are. Like we don't know the values of these components. If that's come to a point where it's actually knocking those components off, this board needs replacing. I mean, even on the back here, like... Look at these components. Look, this board needs replacing. There's no other. There's no really. There's not really no other way around it. If I have to do micro soldering to to replace those components, then you know we're looking at a much higher price, right? That one's okay for now, but those components are burnt. It started to eat away at the solder there. There. The only way to fix that is to replace these components. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, I mean, like, mostly, like, it's not viable to fix this board, like, I mean, you can fix it, but you need a board that's been, like, snapped in half or something to get the components off it. Like, it's just starting to, it's just eating away at the solder, this is a problem. Charge customer board fee on top of the £75, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'll see how bad the rest of it is, because if the rest of the console's not bad then realistically I don't have to charge the higher price, right? Because I don't, I'll do a no fix, no fee. So technically if I haven't fixed this board, then I'm not charging for it, but I'd still service the rest of the console at the same time because it needs it. It's going to need it. Um, but if the rest of the console is not that bad, then, I mean, last time I sold one of these, I think I sold it for £20 or £25. So realistically I could potentially keep it at the same price. It just depends what the rest of this board's like. <laughs> get off of my property. Right, let's get rid of the thermal paste. Right, I'm just going to give the board a quick inspection, look for any corrosion, anything that can cause an issue in the future. I don't think the board has got any problems. Like, I don't think there's going to be any issues with the board. Like, so it's just going to be a quick scan. Yeah, I don't think there's any issues with these boards. 
I think he's literally just that front panel. I am going to inspect the Southbridge board, by the way. I'm not going to ignore it. I'm still going to inspect it. So, yeah, I don't think this is bad enough to justify the extra cost. However, the front panel is. The front panel has got to be replaced. I need to open up the disk drive and check that as well. Uh, just to make sure. Cause I don't want this coming back under warranty. I'd rather spend the extra 10 minutes on it and know that it's not going to come back under warranty. I also need to inspect the Bluetooth board because that's on the front of the board where the uh, connectors sit, where the next, the uh, front panel sits. So I need to inspect that board as well. So just a quick scan. That side's fine. So I'm not looking for literally like one burnt component because the board's turning on. So it's just a quick scan and see if I can see any signs of oil. If I see any signs of oil, I stop. But I'm not seeing any, so I think it's fine. I think it's literally just a front panel. All right. Okie okay, doke. It's better safe than sorry. I might as well check it at least. Just to be sure. But I think it's going to be okay. Right. Let's have a look at the disk drive, shall we? We've got some signs of residue around there. Can you see where it's actually starting to take the paint off that? I just hope it hasn't hit the laser. Because if it's hit the laser, you're screwed. Like if, if the vape oil gone on the laser, you're screwed. But these are fairly tight as well, and they've got a nice, fairly decent seal. It's incredibly rare that you have to open up um, an Xbox disk drive. Um, I think that's fine. Not seeing any sign. All I'm seeing on there in terms of liquid is factory flux. I'm not seeing any signs of... Uh, in fact, that's had a replacement disk drive. So that's not factory flux. That that's either had a replacement disk drive or someone's taken it apart and cleaned it properly, because that's been soldered. Like that's been resoldered. That um, those joints have. So yeah, I'm going to leave that as it is. Right. Before I close this up, let's just see what the deal is now. Alright, so it hasn't turned on on its own. The eject button works. Is that disc in the wrong way? Looks like it's not actually loading a disc. Hmm. That might actually need a new disc drive. Hold up. Could be the disc. Hang on. This is why you have to have more than one test disc. Mm. Boom, there we go. Yeah, disk drive fine. All right, well, I'm happy with that. This is installed in a disc, which means that's working, and it's not ejecting it, which means this is fixed. Ugh. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy that that's good. Um, yeah, obviously, Stop vaping around your consoles. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the rest of the console was fine. It looks like it just got in where the um, you know where the gaps for the buttons and stuff. But you know, it is what it is, I suppose. It's uh, at least it's working now. It's not ejecting a disc, so and it's not pressing the button on its own either, which is good. So yeah, not a bad fix, I suppose. Not as bad as I uh, as I thought it would be, but. Yeah, stick to cigarettes, <laughs> don't vape. But yeah, like I said, I am live streaming this on Twitch right now. So um, if you are watching this back as a video, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make fun of the customer for vaping uh, or the nephew for vaping in the comments down below. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.
Bye for now.